Hey guys, this is Carter with Blue Cloud, and today I want to talk about should you make a video app preview? A lot of people are thinking with video app previews, they think about YouTube or Vimeo or even Facebook video where you're creating a longer one to two minute video. That's more about telling a story, right? That's more about the branding than it is the actual sales and optimization process. What we're going to talk about today are the 30 second clips or the videos that you put into your app, specifically into Apple on the iTunes page. So instead of the first screenshot, you'll see a quick clip of your video. And a lot of people are asking me or have asked me, should I make one? Is this a good idea? I see all these other guys making them. What should I do? And the answer is yes, you should make them. However, it's really important that you only make it if you're going to make a good one because a bad video can actually hurt you a lot more than it helps you. So that's really, really important. Now, what I want to teach you today is I want to give you three tips to creating a really great video for your iTunes page, a really great app preview video. It really comes down to a few basic principles. Yeah, uh -huh. you know what it is. The first thing you want to do is what I like to call the crescendo effect. Right? And I just made that term up. It's not a real technical term. But in music, there's something called the crescendo where it builds and builds and builds and the sound and the intensity and the energy of the music gets greater and greater. If you're into electronic music, you understand this. This is what the buildup is up until the huge beat drop at the end. And you Skrillex fans out there, you get what I'm talking about. But that's what we're going to talk That's one of the number one keys for a great app preview is that you have that crescendo. In other words, you have to build people through your video so that from the second they start all the way until the end of that 30 seconds, it's building and building and the energy is getting more and more exciting. Uh, that makes a huge difference. And what I can also tell you is that the first few seconds of that video should be should nail them right off the bat and then they should hook them in so that they get sucked into this anticipation. There's a lot of psychology and dopamine triggering behind this. So number one, use the crescendo effect in that 30 seconds so that it's always building. The second key to creating an awesome app preview video is the music. I can't tell you how many video guys I've talked to who tell me they spend more time finding the music way before they go out and try to find the uh, videos and come up with this different uh, cuts they're going to do and everything else. The music makes such a difference and it also plays a big difference in the crescendo effect. So you can go on stock music sites. You can also create your own music if you want to get really crazy with it in GarageBand or something like that. But it, music makes such a massive difference and make sure you have the rights to use all the music uh, in this preview video. But find something that builds, that has that building feeling and that matches the type of app that you are trying to use. Now the third tip to making an awesome app preview video is you gotta have a cliffhanger. So the example I gave you before with the crescendo effect and the huge beat drop, like in a great music song, you know, electronic music song, you wanna you wanna stop the video right before that beat drop. So if you're in a game, you wanna stop them right before the they're about to get the prize, all right? Or in a casino game, right before the like right as the huge payout hits and then the amount starts to come up, and then you say, download this right now to get these kind of you know, these kind of payouts or whatever it may be. Or if you've got a productivity app, you know, the, the most exciting moment of getting your problem totally solved or showing somebody using it and the expression on their face as soon as they get it, right? Like what just happened? But you want to leave people on a cliffhanger so that they download the app to find out what happens, right? This is used all the time in books, in movies, in television, and everything. And it works really, really well. So finding a cliffhanger and using a cliffhanger makes a massive difference. You know what it is. Everything I do, yeah, I do it big. Yeah. And so with those three tips, you can make a really killer app preview video. It uses a lot of psychological tricks, 
but it also just uses fundamental principles of making great video. I highly urge you to at least take a stab at it. You know, you can just use your own the screen of your phone if you just want to start, but think about these three principles. And I think that you'll start to see that you can generate a lot more downloads based on this conversion optimization. So I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. If you make any, feel free to post them in the comments below. I think it'd be awesome to share your videos. And I'll see you later. This is Carter Thomas, signing off.